today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my get ready with me routine. This is kind of just my everyday look. Like if I get up and I'm going somewhere and I'm leaving the house, this is kind of what I put on. Um, so I'm going to be sharing with you guys my entire regimen, my skincare, my moisturizing, my makeup, all of that in today's video. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching. The first thing that I'm going to do is really um, just start with a cleansed face. So I'm going to use these Anthony um, purifying astringent pads just to really clean up my skin and get anything off that may be on it. It's kind of like the first step, I feel like, to like getting ready in the morning. It's like, you know, washing your face, getting rid of all that stuff. So I'm just gonna use a pad to do that. As you guys can see, like it's pretty dirty. So like, I'm glad I did that step. So after the um, cleansing step, I go into really just moisturizing, applying any serums and stuff that I may have. So this is the time to do that. I'm gonna start with this Sinai Moisturizing All-in-One Lotion. It's really great. It's a really simple product. There's not a lot of stuff in it, but it's really just really hydrating. So I'm going to use that. Just rub that in on top. I feel like a majority of my skincare routine is really like moisturizing. Like that's like the number one thing. So next, I'm just taking this Age Defender Kiehl's Serum. Um, it's the Power Serum. It's really good um, in reducing fine lines, wrinkles, stuff like that. It also helps firm and tightens your skin while also minimizing the appearance of pores. So if you have any large pores and stuff like that, this is going to be really good for that. So really focus on massaging that into the skin. <laughs> so I'm really just making sure to take the extra time lately to really just moisturize and also protect my skin. So for that, I'm going to be using this Anthony um, sunscreen it's really great what I love about it is it doesn't really have that like typical sunscreen kind of feel to it sometimes sunscreen can feel like really like sunscreeny you know this definitely doesn't have that so I'm gonna put a generous amount of that on my face just to protect me from any sun damage and stuff I have a lot of hyperpigmentation so I really don't want to make that worse while I'm trying to fix it <laughs> I'm trying to get my waves back so I'm going to be using this Murray's um, Wave Cream. It's a hairdressing pomade. I feel like every black person knows this brand. Like, if you're black and you don't know what this is, like, what are you doing? You know, like, this is essential. <laughs> if you really want to get waves, you want to do this for, like, five minutes. But I'm not going to waste my time doing that. <laughs> so I'm just going to really just focus on really getting as flat as I can. So those waves come through. I'm also going to take whatever's left and just kind of run that through my brows just because it kind of helps them like stick and do their thing. That's kind of the base of the face. So if you are really just, you know, trying to moisturize, protect yourself from the sun, you can stop here. The products that I listed are just really simple, you know, just basics. Um, so you can totally stop here if that's what you're into. Um, but I'm going to take it to the next level and really focus on color correcting some of the problems that I have on my face in regards to the hyperpigmentation, some of my acne marks and stuff like that. So I'm going to jump into that. This is probably like my biggest insecurity, guys. Like this, my chin is literally like caused me so many problems. There's videos on it on my channel and me talking about my chin, but I'm going to fix that with a little makeup. So I'm going to use a CC cream to do that. And I'm just going to put that really on those hyperpigmentated areas, if that's a word. And I'm really gonna focus on building that. In. I kind of really blend it into my skin, which does a great job of just canceling out that harsh color. So just to like get rid of the cakiness aspect of it, I'm gonna take some of that Mario Badescu spray and just give my face a like all over mist. This is gonna help add some moisture back into my face because I kind of been sucking it out with the CC cream. I'm just gonna really just finesse this in and make sure everything is where I want it. If you have any other areas that you need to put some of that CC cream to go for it, I just do a very light-handed approach in terms of like all over. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take some NARS concealer and I'm just gonna work this into like kind of the high planes of my face. So kind of like cheekbones, just to really bring those out, get rid of those bags underneath my eyes. Also gonna take that on the other side. So you can see it's doing a really good job of like getting rid of those blemishes and dark marks. I feel like my routine is not really like 
altering my base, I'm really just kind of clearing things up. That's kind of the goal with this routine is that it's really just making everything you have kind of just clean and clear. So next, I'm going to take some NARS Creamy Radiant. As you can tell, I really love NARS products. Like they're just really good. And I'm just going to spot conceal any dark marks that are on my face. So this is kind of like just clearing everything up like on your face. And I'm going to take that same beauty blender. But this time I'm going to spritz some Mario Badescu on it. Just so it kind of, you know, gets rehydrated. Like I like to do, be hydrated. And just really finesse that into the skin. Really do a good job of blending this in, guys. And I do this really just to even everything out so I can look my best. <laughs> I'm not really altering my face. Sometimes people highlight contour kind of like changing their face. Um, I don't really, as a guy, I don't feel like I need to do all that. Like, I just want to have like a really, like, I want to look like I have good skin. You know, that's the goal with this, to look like you have good skin. So next I'm going to take a, um, a finishing powder. This is something from Lancome. I don't really know, but it's a dual finish kind of powder. And I'm just going to do that to really just emphasize my cheekbones. And I'm just going to shape the areas that like I didn't highlight. And see, I kind of have like a dark shift in skin tone. So I just want to even that out. So I'm just going to put it there. So by strategically really placing specific things on your face, you're not really building up like lots of layers. I feel like that's the problem that, you know, a lot of guys run into is like they don't want to look like they have cake face on and stuff like that. So by really just isolating where you're putting things individually, it can kind of just give you a lightweight appearance, which is definitely what I want. Now that we're really just done with the face, I'm going to remist one more time because I can't tell you guys enough, like I love the moisture look. I love like the dewy, sweaty, like just natural glistening look. I feel like that really just makes it more realistic in a sense. I'm just gonna do that one more time. And really just take off any excess product. And then I'm going to use my moisturizer that I used at the beginning of my routine. And I'm just gonna kind of highlight the high planes of my face. Like you wanna look like radiant, you wanna look like you've been drinking a lot of water. <laughs> like, that's kind of my goal with my get ready routine. Like, especially if I'm going out, like, you know, you just wanna look your best and you wanna look hydrated and like you drink your water and your skin's great. So I just do a really good job of like, just moisturizing again and again, every step of the way making sure I'm taking off some of the makeup that I'm applying because I just don't want to have like a lot on my face even though I have a lot. I just want to make sure it's all doing its thing. The last thing I'm going to do is really just set some of the under eye that I did with the concealer just so it doesn't like move throughout the day. I have a really bad problem with my pores like sweating so I just put a little bit of Laura Mercier underneath just to really just set that area. And this also kind of also makes it really more seamless. And I just push that into the skin. Push, push, push through. Not everyone is born with, you know, like even skin tone. Some of us have to work to get there. So this is for those type of people. I don't know, I just do this every day like when I'm getting ready, honestly. Like this is just my everyday, everyday situation. I just feel like in LA and ever since moving here and the difference with like LA and Kansas is that you're really having to put like your best face forward every single day. Like your appearance is like everything here. And it's like, I don't know, there's kind of just an expectation to look good. So yeah, if you have to put on concealer under your eye to like look good and look awake, do it. I definitely suggest, you know, just doing what looks good for you and really just making sure you're happy. Cause like my biggest problem is my lower half of my face um, and that's just really like it can be a buzzkill sometimes you know and then one more time with the Mario Badescu spray 
just so we're like all set and complete.